Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and we are playing Team Slayer on Renova. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about social networking and my views on it. And I guess we'll start off with the beginning, the birth of, well not really the birth of or beginning social networking on the internet, but what popularized it, and that's MySpace. Now, when MySpace came out, I was really against it. I didn't want to, ah, oh, I can't believe I missed that. I didn't want to join. Oh, let's get a triple kill. Start the video off. Here we go. What? Really? Okay. Sorry for getting distracted there. Now, I didn't want to join MySpace when it first came out. I was really against the idea of sharing, you know, all that information with absolute strangers. And I know you don't have to share anything you don't want to. But I, I just... I didn't feel the need to share anything and that you know all my friends were telling me to join saying oh it's great to talk to your friends and it's a great place to just hang out and meet new people and blah 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 and I just I, I couldn't care I did not want to uh getting distracted again that was just weird he didn't look before you step guys kids at home you see a plasma grenade in front of you 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 back off you don't run in front of it. Uh, now I, <laughs> I didn't join MySpace because I didn't like sharing that information and I, I didn't find any of it really appealing. And every one of my friends were a part of it. So I, I did feel left out in a sense, but I'd rather feel left out than join something like that. Mainly because, I, I don't know, I wasn't really a non-conformist in a sense. I just, you know, I didn't want to join it just because everyone else was, you know? So I, I decided not to join MySpace. Facebook comes along, destroys MySpace, and everyone's telling me to join that. So I didn't join for a while, and then, you know, it, it's a lot more secure than MySpace was. So I, I signed up, but I made an alias, like a really ridiculous alias. So, you know, I was talking to my friends that way, and yeah, it, it was all right. I, I didn't really care much for it. And then I got on YouTube, and I had to join so that I could better interact with you guys. And, you know, that's the main appeal to Facebook now for me is basically broadcasting out to you guys in a more effective way. And being able to talk to you guys uh, consistently and have an open dialogue with you, which is something I really enjoy. So I set up the Facebook. Link will be in the description if you want to add me as a friend. I'm accepting literally any friend request I get. Uh, I have some odd people on my friends list right now, so, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, Twitter came out. I didn't really see the purpose of that either. And... I joined for YouTube a little while ago and I started to follow uh, some people that I really were, was interested in and I started to see the point. I follow people that basically tell jokes in 140 characters or less and you know it's an effective way of getting on, getting updates and you know having a a bit more of a dialect with people that you normally wouldn't be able to. You know, I love the jokes that I get from Notch and uh, guys like that. So I signed up. I'm going to be start. Uh, I'm going to be start. I'm going to start being way more active on it. I'll put that link in the description too. You can follow me at Foster Canadian. Not Foster the Canadian. Too many characters apparently. And I'll give you updates. I'll share my humor and that kind of thing. Now, uh, along with that... I set up a Gmail account. I'm going to set up a Google Plus account soon because I figure people are flocking to that right now. I'm going to set up the account, the Gmail account that you guys can email me at, fansthecanadian at gmail.com. Send me your stories or, you know, wh what have you. I'll respond back to as many as I can. And uh, so far I've given it out to a few of you and I've gotten some really great stories I wanted to get to. And uh, I'll get to more of that later. So that's basically 
All I wanted to talk about as far as social networking goes, so you can add me on Twitter, Facebook, send me emails at fansthecanadian at gmail.com, and I look forward to seeing you. Uh, another thing I'd wanted to touch on a bit was, you probably noticed by now, my Minecraft server is down. The reason it is, is I'm performing a lot of maintenance on it that I probably should have performed before I released it to you guys, but anyways, I'm uh, adding some bucket support. I'm trying to get the 1.9 pre-release to work, but it's not right now, so expect it to be down for a couple of days while I tweak around with some things and try to get it just the way I want. So that you guys have a more positive experience, because that's the whole of it. If you guys are, you know, not having fun, you can't set home, you can't teleport to where you died, that kind of thing. It really, it makes it less of an enjoyable experience, and it's not what you want on a server. You want griefing uh, support so that if someone griefs you, I can easily fix it. You want to uh, be able to teleport to where you died so you can get your items in case the creeper sneaks up on you and you have your sound off or whatever. And I'm going to be adding all of that, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Give me some feedback on some things you would like to see that I can add. And uh, we'll try to make a better server. I got a few shoutouts uh, this week. Actually, I have quite a few shoutouts. First one to Draco12999, K07HESK, that was very hard to pronounce. Well, not really hard to pronounce, just hard to figure out how to pronounce. The Red Hawk 422 and for the final time, Fat Greek Boy. That's me! I also got the first ever Foster the Canadian fan art, which I'll show you right now. Thank you very much, MetalArms98, for that. Remember, if you want a shout-out, all you ever have to do is post more power to you in the comments, and you'll get into my next video. Now, click any of these links you see before you to take you to one of my other commentaries. This is Foster the Canadian. Until next time, see ya.